The Titanic was an iconic ship of its time, one that sank to the depths of the ocean in 1912. It was 882 feet long and had an average maximum depth of approximately 150 feet. The shipwreck remains in two main sections, split into parts at the surface of the ocean. One large part is around 600 feet below the water's surface and the other part is slightly deeper at about 2.5 miles below. The ocean depths where the wreck lies is a frigid 34 degrees Fahrenheit 1.4 degrees Celsius and extremely dark, with no sunlight able to reach the debris field aside from the few organisms that it supports. The strange environment of the ship's wreckage is mostly void of life. Researchers and the public alike have been fascinated by the story of the Titanic and its mysterious resting place in the depths of the Atlantic, but no one really knows the full extent of the wreckage that lies there. The exact location of the ship is a closely guarded secret, to prevent any unauthorized salvage attempts or potential looting. It is believed that the Titanic split into two sections before sinking to the ocean floor, one at a depth of 800 feet and the other reaching 2,885 feet. This makes it quite difficult to access as most regular research submarines can only reach up to 1,000 feet depths. Since its discovery, researchers have managed to capture some stunning images of creatures that thrive in such dark depths. It is thought that the wreckage still stands at a considerable height, some say as high as 100 feet, with the bow section roughly standing upright. The most famous artifact from the wreckage is the Marconi wireless mast that still stands on the bow section. Some of the damage appears to have been caused by the impact with the seafloor, with images showing collapsed and distorted aspects of the ship. An incredible array of marine wildlife has been seen near the wreck including a large species of deep-sea eel that has been adopted by the shipwreck as its home. The ocean depths where the wreck is located can exceed temperatures of 34 degrees C slash 29 degree F, which is colder than the majority can imagine. The wreckage and debris have been scattered by the ocean currents and lies in an area of around 300 feet. Amidst the darkness of the deep, a few ravenous scavenging creatures have been spotted around the shipwreck, like hungry sharks and crustaceans. At the time of the accident the ship was carrying 1,503 people, of which only 706 were rescued. Some notable artifacts have been discovered in the depths, like the ship's whistle, which was heard by rescuers who had come to the area. The hull of the Titanic is said to be in remarkably good condition, with the steel plates still in place and some even retaining a bright shiny appearance. Analysts believe that due to the cold water and lack of life, the shipwreck is unlikely to succumb to the effects of vermin or any kind of corrosion in the near future. The extraordinary environment of the deep ocean has been found to provide a perfect host for many creatures that are unable to survive on the surface. Goblin sharks, vampire squids, and giant amoebas have been observed to make their home in the depths and some of these creatures have been seen in the area where the ship went down. A NOAA exploration mission in 2010 led teams of divers and researchers to evidence of the wrecks that still remains in the deep depths of the Atlantic today.
It is said that the extreme depths have helped to preserve some of the most amazing artifacts of human culture, including the lost remains of the Titanic. It is always a great mystery to ponder how deep the Titanic is and how far it has sunken into the ocean over many years.